Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Some real interesting news to report right now out of New York City involving the Lucchese crime family, the Genovese crime family, uh, a three-year cocaine conspiracy for a mafia princess. So uh, back on Thursday of last week, Amanda Lebrano, who is the daughter of Lucchese heavyweight Joey Relay Lebrano, and the soon-to-be stepdaughter of the boss of bosses, the most powerful Don in the New York underworld, Barney Belomo. Amanda was sentenced to 22 months in federal prison for a three-year cocaine conspiracy that she got busted in in 2023. She was moving kilos, um, and got nailed in a sting uh, and just cut a deal in the last month or so. Uh, she'll do about a year lockdown and then probably a year in a halfway house. But this particular situation has has caused quite a bit of tension and consternation for people in both of these crime families. A lot of finger pointing. Um And I'll just break down what I've heard. Uh, This whole situation was kept under wraps. Nobody knew about this. Jerry Capace, shout out Gangland News, the Don, the Dean and the Don of uh, American Mafia reporting. Uh, He reported the sentencing on Thursday. This is the first we'd ever heard of any of this. Um, Amanda's mother, Nancy Rossi, is... uh, According to my sources, the fiance of Barney Belomo, uh, kind of the the new love of Barney's life, and they're building a big mansion together in Westchester. Uh, he lives on in City Island, and and she's with him quite a bit, if not living there with him right now. Um, and there's a lot of exposure here, or potential exposure here, on on both sides of this. So. There were a lot of questions I know being asked on both the Lucchese side and the Genovese side of who knew what and when, what were people aware of? This wasn't a one-time, you know, one-time bust or a one-time incident. This wasn't a hand-to-hand. This was a three-year conspiracy moving weight, (laughs) moving kilos uh, at about 22,000 a pop. Um, the price, you know, also kind of, uh, makes you ask some questions about who was supplying her. Um, you know, when you're moving weight like that, you got to have a really solid supply line. You're not going to be getting it on the corner. So a lot of questions I'm told that there was a sit down last month before she entered this plea deal that the top people on both of these crime families were at this sit down. Barney himself was at this sit down from the Genovese, from what I'm told. And you had the um, acting boss of the Lucchese's, Big Mike DeSantis, and some other uh, big, big shots in the Lucchese family there with Joey Relay. And again, um, it got heated. That's what I'm told. Uh, it ended on a on a positive note, hugs and handshakes to end. But during uh, during the conversation, things got heated, and you had a lot of people. You know, like for lack of a better term, pointing fingers. You had the Lucchese's pointing fingers at uh, Barney for for not keeping his um, stepdaughter in check, and then you had the the Barney people telling the Lucchese's that they're not keeping Joey Relay's daughter in check, and that this could blow back on everybody. Um, Joey Relay is a, a younger guy, about 52, 53. Uh, they call him Joey Relay because from a young age he was working directly for Lucchese family administrators uh, relaying messages. And he's looked at as a, a guy that will most likely be in the administration of that family in the future. Barney is Barney. The fact that Barney now has had to, I'm, from what I'm told, has had to take two different sit downs with bosses of other crime families in the last four or five months to deal with issues. This guy, you know, we call him the ghost because he, he, he keeps things so close to the vest and is, it's very difficult to find a picture of this guy. It's difficult to to track his movements. And he definitely doesn't want to be meeting face-to-face with other bosses. And that's 
what's had to occur because of this situation. I heard that both of these, uh, you know, from a personal standpoint, Barney and, and Joey Relay are broken up about this. This is a, a, a girl that they care about, a woman that they care about, and she's got to have to go do some prison time right now. But um, a lot of questions on on that are yet to be answered about where where these drugs were coming from that she was selling, um, who knew it, who okayed it, who didn't know it, I guess. So we'll we'll keep tabs on it here. But a lot of big news out of New York regarding this drug case. And it, it's kind of the last thing I'll say about this is that for the for the Joey Merlino watchers, this is great news. This takes Joey kind of out of the news cycle and gives the the guys in New York something else to worry about, something that's more um, prevalent today, something that can actually hurt them today, not just about, you know, how things look and setting precedent. So it looks like the, the Joey Merlino podcasting controversy is kind of being put to the back burner. And now the Amanda Lubrano uh, drug dealing controversy is at the forefront of issues with the Lucchese's and the Genovese right now. Um, Scott Bernstein, OG pod. I'm out.